Welcome back everyone. This is the UMC 1820 audio MIDI interface from Behringer. So first of all, we're going to unbox it. We're going to see what's in the box. Then we're going to take a quick look at the features at the front and the back panel. And then I'm going to show you how to set it up and install it inside your DAW to get eight individual inputs. Okay, so opening up the box, we've got a bit of polystyrene there. Come on Behringer, you're better than that. We've got a manual, not going to need that. USB cable and a power cable and they've included a UK power cable here so I don't have to get an adapter. Okay so let's take a quick look at the front panel. Starting at the left here we've got the inputs for one and two. Moving along we've got switches to give phantom power to either inputs one to four or five to eight and then we've got the individual gain controls for all eight inputs along with line instrument and pad switches. Now as it says on the front there, we've got Midas preamps for all eight inputs. Midas preamps became legendary in the industry for good reason, they sound fantastic. So the inclusion of eight Midas preamps here on this unit is really good value. Next up we've got the monitoring section where we can switch between direct monitoring for one and two, all channels one to eight, and we've got a mono sum there as well. We've got the main output control with dim and mute switches. And last of all, we've got the headphone section. We've got two headphone outputs and both are switchable between outputs one and two or outputs three and four. This is a really nice feature and something you'd expect to see in a much more expensive unit. Okay, round the back, we've got inputs for channels one to eight. There's individual outputs as well. There's the main outputs there. And after that, we've got digital outputs, including ADAT. Now this is really cool because you can actually expand this unit to get more input with something like this, the ADA8200. Well, that's an extremely cool feature. We've got MIDI in and out on the back here, so it's also a MIDI interface. And finally, there's the USB port for attaching it to your computer. So once you've attached it to your computer, boot up your DAW, go into your settings, select the UMC1820 as your input and output, and then you can select between stereo or mono for the individual inputs. As you can see here, I'm using eight mono inputs. And then the same with your outputs. You can select one and two or three and four, or send them to different buses. So the inclusion of two sets of stereo outputs is really cool. That means you could DJ with this. Two stereo outputs along with the eight separate inputs also means this is a great unit for drummers. You could have your individual drums in the eight outputs, then you could have your main stereo output on one and two and a click track on three and four. So I know this is an old unit. I got it a couple of days ago. I actually got it because I do a lot of live jams here for this channel and I wanted something simple and reliable that meant I could get individual pan and EQ and effects controls for each of my mono synths. So I've been using it for a couple of days now and I have to say I'm really, really impressed at the sound quality. Quality. I've got all my mono synths plugged into it and I've got my guitar plugged in and my mic plugged in and the sound quality is really impressive especially at this price so yeah if you're looking for a really affordable and very simple way of getting multiple inputs into your door I can definitely recommend this and the inclusion of Midas preamps at this price really makes it a steal if you want to grab one for yourself I'll put a link in the description and as always if you have any questions at all ask me in the comments thanks for watching see you next time